Hi everyone, my name is Harper Fenner. I'm the cocktail resident here at Food 52, and today in cocktail class, along with our friends at Tito's Handmade Vodka, we are exploring vodka infusions. So, Let's talk about vodka infusions. Vodka infusions are a really great way to spice up and add a little bit of excitement to your home bartending and mixology. And Tito's is probably the best candidate for that because Tito himself actually got his start by taking a bunch of different flavors, infusing it into vodka, and giving them away as gifts to his friends. We have a few examples of infusions in front of me here. All the way over here, we have a dry infusion, we have what we're referring to as a raw infusion, and we have a fat wash infusion. Let's talk about these. Dry infusions are great if we want to work with herbs and spices. So with something like lavender, because it's dry, it has a lot of concentrated oils in it already. So this really only needs a couple of hours to get going. If we're using something like spices, it's helpful to toast them to get those oils expressed. And then I like to usually infuse it for a little bit longer. In the middle here, we have what we're calling a raw infusion. So this is full of mint right now. Mint, when we freeze it, tends to get a little mealy, a little slimy. Mint, when we dehydrate it, it's just gonna turn into powder and then we'll never be able to get it out of the bottom. So for items that either don't freeze well or dry into a powder, I like to keep it just as is. So this mint has been sitting in the vodka for about 18 hours now, so it is ready to be strained. You can see the mint is beginning to turn color, so a lot of that color is actually going into the vodka at this point. So this is ready to be strained and used. So the very last example that we have right here is a fat wash infusion. A fat wash is a really simple technique. All it is is taking a fat, in this case a rosemary olive oil, and infusing it into the spirit, in this case vodka. So you can do that with coconut oil, brown butter. With the rosemary olive oil in this vodka, it would make for a great Bloody Mary or a great martini riff as well. All you have to do is take your vodka, add in the fat that you want to use, give it a little shake, let it sit out for a couple of hours. Then we're gonna shake it again and add it into the freezer. That process will keep the alcohol as a liquid, but it will solidify the fat, bringing it up to the top. Then all you do is remove that cap. It's gonna be a solid disc, and we are left with the vodka with all of that flavor of that rosemary olive oil. Let's talk about freeze infusions. We are gonna be making a strawberry and rosemary vodka. So I have my strawberries here. They are frozen and ready to go. Using frozen fruit as an infusion method is a really, really handy and efficient way to make infusions. If you've ever pulled a uh, bag of frozen fruit out of the freezer and you've left it out, you'll see it start bleeding all of its color, all of its juices. That's because when water freezes, it expands, it breaks the cell walls, and then when it thaws out, all of that color and all that flavor is gonna leach right out. So, using frozen fruit, really handy method. I've got about a pound of frozen strawberries here, and we're going to infuse it directly with our vodka. So let's start our infusion. This couldn't be any simpler. All we're gonna do is add our Tito's into our strawberries. We're gonna let this sit out at room temp for about 12 hours. The entire process is going to take about 18 hours. But after 12 hours, we're gonna add a little something extra to this as well. That's about it. So here's an example of our strawberry vodka after about 12 hours. As you can see, it's already taken a lot of the color, but we have one more element that we wanna add. This is fresh rosemary that we went ahead and froze. You could do this with fresh rosemary as well, but it just takes a little bit longer. Now we're gonna go ahead and add it to our strawberry vodka and we're gonna let it sit all together for about six hours. And then we're gonna strain everything off. All right, so here we have our strained vodka. These strawberries, most of the color has disappeared. They are pretty pale. While they may not look as pretty as they once were, are still a great ingredient. You can still cook them down, you can still make a jam out of it, and they are now infused with all of that flavor of the rosemary. The rosemary is going to be a little bit weaker than it once was, so it's not gonna have all that same potency because a lot of that, again, is now in our Tito's. You can still dehydrate it, you can still make a syrup or a sugar out of it, so there is still use of it. Now, let me show you a cocktail that you can make with this. A great thing to do with our strawberry and rosemary Tito's is 
make a riff on a French 75. A French 75 is a great classic drink and it is really simple to make at home. All we're gonna use is our strawberry and rosemary vodka, a little lemon juice, and a little simple syrup. Top it with a little sparkling wine and call it a day. So we'll start with a quarter ounce of our simple syrup. And this simple syrup is just that. It is one part sugar and one part water. Half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And we'll do an ounce and a half of our infusion. Add ice and shake. And then we'll fine strain it into our flute here. Now all I have to do is top it with a little bit of sparkling wine. We'll garnish with strawberry and rosemary, and there we are. That is our strawberry rosemary Tito's French 75. This is a great drink to accentuate all of those different flavors that we infused into the Tito's. We have the strawberry coming through, and not only that, but it gives us this beautiful color. The rosemary is nice and floral. It comes right to the top of the drink, and that lemon pulls it all together to make it bright, refreshing, and exactly what you need. That is our infusion episode here in cocktail class. If you're working on anything, please let us know, and until next time, cheers. <laughs>